Episode 6, Jammo, Washed with Tears. What is the best gift you have ever been given? Pause to respond. Today our story comes from the Jesus Storybook Bible, and it's called Washed with Tears. So one day, Jesus went and had lunch with some of the church leaders at the time. They were called Pharisees. Now, he was invited to go eat with them, and it was a big deal that he went. Before we get into the story, I just wanted to take a minute and talk about why it was a big deal. So the church leaders at the time didn't like what Jesus was teaching, and they wanted to find out a way to get back at him. They wanted to find out a way to make him in trouble because what Jesus was teaching was threatening their comfort in their lives. It was saying, you're going to have to care about other people, and they didn't want to. They wanted to be right. They wanted to follow their rules. And so the whole time he went to lunch, they weren't his friends. And so while Jesus was at this lunch with them, a woman came in And she wasn't known, people didn't like her very much. She wasn't known for being a great person. In fact, the Pharisees really didn't like her. And back then, when people walked around, there was just dirt and sandals, and so their feet were really dirty. And it was seen, if you touched someone's feet, it was unclean. And this woman, who they didn't really like, came in, and the first thing she did was wash Jesus' feet She got on her knees and she used her tears and she used a really expensive perfume to clean Jesus' feet. And that was a really big deal because you didn't touch people's feet. And so when the Pharisees saw this, they were shocked. They were so upset and they said, we are going to get him. Like, this is our chance. He's letting her wash his feet. We're going to trick him and we're going to get away with it. It's going to be awesome. But the whole time, this woman is just showing Jesus her respect and her love for him. And and this is a sign of her saying, I'm sorry, and I'm not too good to love you. And so the head Pharisee came to Jesus, and he's like, why? Why are you letting her wash your feet? Why are you letting her do this? She's not clean. And Jesus says, she knows that. She wants help. She wants to be better. This is a sign that she loves me and she knows she needs to change because everyone needs to change. And she was able to admit it, which Jesus knew is one of the hardest things to do is to admit we need to be different. And that was part of it. She was humble. She humbled herself before Jesus. She knew that this wasn't, she wasn't who she needed to be. And see, the Pharisees, they were proud. They thought they did everything right, and they didn't like someone telling them they needed to change. You see, Jesus came here for everyone. He came here for the whole world. He didn't just come here for the people who thought they were doing a really good job. He came here because everyone is broken. Everyone struggles. And are we going to pretend? Are we going to pretend that we're actually all together? And we shouldn't because Jesus knows how we are. We just need to be honest. And so the important question we can ask ourselves is how can we humble ourselves? How can we take a choice every day and be like, God I know I'm not perfect, but I want to try. And that's what we want to learn from the woman today. The end. Go get out your craft supplies and make a gift for someone. Pray for us to be humble and to seek after God.